This is a situation that expectant couples worry about. Fortunately, it doesn't happen all the time. I want to introduce you to Matt and his wife, Lauren. Lauren is nine weeks pregnant, and you guys are a little bit worried about this. Why? Well, uh, the other day, we were on our way to uh, my doctor's appointment, and we're about two hours away from our doctor. And as we're sitting in traffic, it turned more into three hours, and we were sitting there thinking, what if we were in a situation where I was in labor and we didn't make it, or what would we do? What would he do? You want to learn how to do some things? Well, first, let's give you a gift. This is just yeah. in case. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Stick that in your pocket. It's always good to have, and since we are about emergency preparedness, <laughs> Matt, I think you need to come up here and learn how to give birth with Dr. Lisa. Right. She's Just delivered a few babies in her day. <laughs> yes. Now, remember, this is emergency. We don't want people to deliver on their own because of the things that can happen. And I'm not going to show you all those things that can go wrong because that will just scare you more. Yeah. But just in case you have to do what Ben had to do, you know, okay. in an emergency so that you know. Sounds good. So Sounds good. I head on up. And Ben, moral support? You know what you're doing, right? <laughs> That's right. Come on up here, guys. So this lovely lady is going to help us out. And remember, all the action is down here. And we also worry about, you know, you're going to call 911, just like Ben did, because you want people to be there for a baby in case, you know, baby's not breathing or things are going wrong or things are going wrong with mom. Mm -hmm. So even if you had to do it, you'd still want some, you know, trained sure. people on the way. So this lady, I think she is just about ready to deliver. And basically, babies can almost deliver themselves when everything is going right, mm -hmm. because it's the contractions that are forcing and pushing the baby out. So what you're going to do is just use your hands like this to really gently guide the baby out and usually it makes a downward maneuver and then an upward maneuver so you're just going to give a little gentle traction okay and this baby is just right there are you okay lady she's not screaming quite <laughs> as much as your wife but <laughs> there she goes <laughs> all right so come on in here come on in here so you're going to you're going to take your hands just like this you this mommy's going to come on out mommy Keep pushing. Push harder. The baby's coming. It is coming. <laughs> it is coming. So you're going to have your hands just like that. OK, yeah. Just as it comes out, you're just going to cradle it. And it's good to have something soft underneath. And again, it's starting to make that little downward position. And just kind of guide the head out like that. There you go. Your hands are just going to keep gliding it. OK. And there you go. You got it. You just guided it on out. All right. <laughs> All right. Again, this is just so you know what to do in emergency because you do want trained personnel to be on their way just in mm -hmm. case mommy needs attention or baby needs attention afterwards. But you now know what to do, and you now did what Ben did, but <laughs> Ben did it in some real pressurized situation, yeah. but you don't want that. So now you know you can also talk to your OB about, you know, the options mm. of maybe having mom For stay sure. closer, you know, to where the hospital is, a little mm. bit closer to the time of delivery. Most first-time babies, you know, they take longer than what happened with you. So, Lauren, are you ready? If, if worst case scenario, if Matt had to, do you feel better now about him delivering your baby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he's, he's good he's work, ready. Matt. He's ready. Okay.